Hey, good morning. It's Saturday morning. I'll try to get that video edited and put on from yesterday. I didn't do an intro or closing to that video, so I'm just doing it now at home the next day. We, me and John went up to Manassas Peak. We didn't see anything, found a few old horns, but I was able to still show you the wallow up there. That's pretty nice. And the trick tank that's up there. Those are two areas. The trick tank has more bulls. I found a lot of antlers right around that trick tank on Nolan Mountain and stuff. One year I found a ton. So it just depends. Some years I find none. And a little wallow. I never had a camera there. I never. I sat there once for hunting. I didn't have any luck. Um, but I see white tail in that area. And I picked up a few elk antlers. But I just don't know how much that wallow gets used. It would be fun to go sit at this um, rut and see if any big bulls hang out there during the wallow because it's a little off the map and a little hard to find I, I've only been there once or twice and I had a hard time finding it I should have brought my GPS but it's a nice little area I like Manassas because last year when I was hunting 27 whitetail I went to Bear Mountain people went there people and like I just want to get away from people so I went Manassas and no one was there alright so I hope you like these two little areas and Manassas Peak is a neat area because it drops down to the Freeborn Canyon, which is steep and rough. And there's some big bulls that hang out in there. And some whitetail. And there's always water there. And it drops down into the blue where there's always water. And then drops down into Nolan Springs and Nolan Canyon in that area. If I had those names right, I can't remember. But it's a nice little area. And it's up on top. And the only way to get up on top is park at the Blue Road and hike up there. Or drive clear around through Luna and towards reserve and then drive all the way up on top but you can drive right to the top of it. Here's an old white tail chuck John just found. We're still looking for that wallow. I should have brought my other GPS so I could find it quickly. But at least we found one antler. There's white tail. I've seen some nice muleys in here and some elk. All three. All right, I found the wall. It's got a little blind ready built here. Someone built it. I've never seen anyone here. I've been here in hunting season. Me and John sat in here in whitetail season before. But there's the blind behind me, and I'll show you the wallow. I might come back here and sit in here during the rut one time and just see if there's any big bulls that come in here. I never had a camera at this wallow, so I don't know what's here and what's not. I just know it's here and it gets used. But I'll show you the wallow. There's someone's little blind. Like I said, never seen anyone in it. I think it is opening day of archery. If someone was really using this spot, they may already be here. And this one's a good wall. I mean, it's a big, really big. There's only a few fresh tracks, but there's some fresh tracks. It almost looks like someone did dirt work in here to make it. But it is a, I can't even zoom out to show you the whole thing. It's a big old wallow. Right here on a shelf off Manassas Peak. And I have picked up a lot of antlers here. And there's that little hut. So another cool thing, I don't find these very often, but these are... I didn't pick these ones, they were just torn up. Someone's been eating them. They're lobster tail mushrooms. Or lobster mushrooms. They're edible, they kind of taste fishy. People even make like lobster food out of them. There's some that were picked already and there's a bunch right there. They're all over in here. A bunch of these lobster mushrooms. Edible mushroom. So they're red like this one. This one's perfect and they even shape kind of like a lobster tail. Right like that. And they grow. They're actually a mushroom that eats another mushroom. There's a little tiny broken piece. I'll just leave it there. Deer antler. Probably another white tail it looks like. Some more old chalk. I've been in here before. Not this side, but the other side. But hoping to find something because I switched to this other little area. And old chalk. After it rains, there's always after it rains, there's always lots of cool mushrooms. These ones are not edible. Don't eat them. Actually, I would not go eat any mushroom, they'll see go with somebody that knows what they're doing. 
because you never know. Some can kill you. Most will just make you sick, though. Here's a little tank up here on the hill. It's right by the road. I'll go see if there's any tracks. But at least got water, too. All tracks I've seen today are pretty fresh. There's a few on that shelf where you're on down there. There's just one, maybe two elk that came and drank out of this this morning, probably. All right. This is, I call it Jackson Canyon Trick Tank. When I parked down on the Blue Road and hiked up Jackson Canyon, which is rough, mean, looping, stop here all the time to get water. And I don't remember ever seeing this trick tank dry. I'll stop, filter my water, and keep going when I'm hiking the west side of Manassas Peak looking for animals and antlers. And i never seen anyone here. One year, I don't know, three years ago, someone came and did a camera right there. But the camera's been gone for two two years at least. I, maybe it was four years ago I saw it. And it's been gone for three. But it's a nice little trick tank. And there's a lot of bulls that hang out here. And some deer. Right here's Nolan Mountain. Right in front of us, kind of past us. And Manassas Peak is on my right. So I'm facing New Mexico. If you go that way, that's Manassas Peak. You go this way, and that's Nolan Mountain. Side of Nolan Mountain, one time I picked up nine or ten antlers. It was awesome. And some years I pick up none. There's a nice little bench right there that's hit or miss, feast or famine. But this is a nice little trick tank, Jackson Canyon trick tank. All right, so I'm going to show you real quick where I went. This is a big map. This is the 180 headed towards reserve. And you got to turn off and go on these dirt roads all the way through here, all the way into here. And then this one actually keeps going this way. And instead you turn this way, go across these canyons and right here to Manassas Peak area. And then on Manassas Peak, I ended up right down here somewhere. And First I went down on this big shelf right here is where that wallow is. And then right over here is where that tank was I showed you. And right here is the trick tank. Um, there are, these two are on all the forest service maps. That trick tank's on the forest service maps. All these tanks up here on the forest service maps. But the wallow down here on this step's not. And once you get down on the step, you just have to look around and you can find it if you wanted to. But cool little area. First time I ever found it, I parked down here and hiked up this nasty canyon but I found a lot of antlers this shelf right here is a really cool little spot to find antlers in all this area